Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alexis Lawson, and I have a special guest here today. Hello. It's Nicholas! Hello, I'm <laughs> Y'all know he be popping into my vlogs every now and again. Sometimes he's behind the camera helping me with all of this. But today, we are going to be doing a very, very requested video. Very much. Literally everywhere we go, every time people see us, every time somebody see us on like TikTok, especially since a couple of our videos have been viral, we get the question of like, where did y'all meet? How can I get one? Where did you find him? And so today's video, we're going to be telling the story of how we met. Period. Now, there's two versions to this story. And there's really not even two versions. It's just two different perspectives. Y'all finna get the smut novel of our meet cute. Okay? Yeah, of our meet cute. This is finna be a Wattpad story. So get the pins ready, girl. Because she or he <laughs> because he says the night happened one way and then I say it happened another way. And so we are going to give y'all all of the perspectives of the night that we met. So yes, we finna get right into it. So it was <laughs> November the 19th, the year of our Lord, 2021. Mm -hmm. Well, really, it was a couple of days before that. No, 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 no. It was actually, it was actually that day. It was actually that day. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I posted a little flyer, you know what I'm saying? Shout, shout out to Mood Swing uh, 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 as well, you know? They're not Mood Swing anymore. Oh. Cease and desist. No. Shout out to the band, the group <laughs> formerly known as Mood Swing. And, uh, you know, I had the opportunity to, you know, perform at a, at a, one of their shows. So I posted a flyer that I, that, that, that I was going to be performing. And then, and then, you know, her black hand. Oh my God. Her black hand, uh, you know, swiped up when I posted it on the story. And she was like, is there going to be any room to perform? I'm weak. And, and, and you know, I was, like, I was like, I mean, I don't know. You know, I'm just featuring. You know, I, I don't know if it's an open mic for real. So, I mean, if you get there early enough, maybe. You know what I'm saying? So, so, I mean, I didn't know if she was going to come for real. I I know. I didn't know if I was gonna come for real, y'all. I was literally at home. I was at home. I had just got done twisting down my hair. Okay, it wasn't soaking wet, but you know when you still got them twists with the leave-in conditioner that's not dry, and you like, bro, if I take these out, it's gonna be an afro matter. Okay, it is not even gonna be a twist out sensation. I'm literally sitting on the couch. I was in my old apartment. Y'all know we live together now, but I was in my old apartment that was literally like a box. I lived in like the upstairs of a box. And I'm just sitting in the living room watching TV. I'm like scrolling through Instagram. I didn't watch a couple of shows, watched a couple of movies. And I'm like, all right, I see this flyer. And I'm like, yeah, I need to go. I had just moved to Raleigh, y'all. I had just moved to Raleigh like a couple months before that. And I was like, okay, I need to start getting out. And it was during my, I'm gonna do things by myself season of my life. And I used to go to the bookstore and to the coffee shop and all that. And I just decided, fuck it, I'ma go. I didn't know how far it was. I didn't know like, I didn't know nothing. I just knew this man said that like, it wasn't his event. And if I got there early enough, then I was gonna have time to sign up on the list. And I was like, fuck it, we ball. So like, I'm at home not thinking about none of this shit, okay? None of it. You wanna keep going with your version of the story? Absolutely. Ah, so, <laughs> we get into the evening. Yeah. I drive from uh, Mabin, you know what I'm saying? I did not live in Raleigh. Hey. I did not live in Raleigh at the time. <laughs> So, uh, you know, I drive, you know, so I get there a little early, you know, one of the first and last times that I would get to an event early. Um, and, uh, <laughs> and, um, you know, I'm just sitting there and I'm like, dang, I don't know where to go. I don't know where to talk to. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what the world is going on. Um, so, you know, I'm sitting there, I'm sitting there, I'm sitting there. I'm like, I'm like, I think. I'm weak. 
I was sitting there, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want, I didn't want her to notice that I noticed her. So, you know, I was Bro. trying to be cool. I and I cool. saw him. I didn't see him notice me, but I saw him. So, when I got there, I, like, walked into the place. I asked the lady, like, oh, okay. Because I was shy then. You know I mean? I'm shy now. But I was shy then, okay? I didn't know nobody here. I'm like, oh, they gang. They friends. Like, I'm just some outsider. I just rolled up into this establishment. And so, I'm like, hey, is it still time to perform? And she was like, yeah, you can perform. And I was like, okay, cool. So, I went and sat at the bar. Because I didn't know if, like, I didn't, I was there by myself. I ain't know nobody. So, like, I went to the other side. But it was getting set up. I was like, okay, I'm going to just sit at the bar. Then I meet this lady. Her name is Genevieve. And I followed, she followed me on Facebook that night. And I'm so glad she did because I will never forget her. So, I had ordered a liquid marijuana, I believe, at the bar. And she basically started like complimenting me on my hair. And remember, I told y'all that I had just put them twisted. And so I'm like, bro, is she being funny? Is my hair starting to poof up already? I've just left the house. And so this is why you don't make decisions after you didn't wash and stretch and twist it, yo, hair. Cause I'm like, yo, is she being funny? I was like, is God paying a joke on me? But no, she was being real genuine. And then she was like, oh, your drink's pretty because you know the liquid marijuana be having all the like blue and yellow and green and shit. And so it was a pretty drink and I was just sipping it because girl, I needed some liquid courage and thank God I turned, I, I was 21. I was 21, okay? I was 21 because your girl was nervous and like I had just moved from the new city that I had just moved to. I didn't have no friends. I was like, okay, at least I can go to a bar and get a drink, a little glass of wine without anybody being there. So that was the very least. But I did see him. And once me and Miss Genevieve started talking, I was like, girl, I think I know him. I was like, I think I know him. I was like, I don't think I know know him, but like I follow him on Instagram. Like I ain't never seen him in real life. And she was from Tennessee. So she's like, I don't know nobody, girl. And I'm like, yeah, girl, I think I'll follow him. Like he he this real dope poet. And now, let I'm gonna give y'all a little backstory on how I uh came about uh following this here black man. <laughs> got his Instagram from this dude that I used to talk to in college so like that was like a one month thing a one month fling and like I knew that was never going to be anything but he ghosted me but now you know for the last two years I was like well dang Maybe, maybe that was God's mission from him because like maybe he was just supposed to pass you mean your information so when the time was right and the position was ready he was gone he was gone. And the crazy thing is they used to work together. They they friends. He was so excited to give me this man Instagram. Y'all, he's into poetry. You's into poetry. Y'all need to connect because he's a dope ass poet. Like. And I was like, yo, this is that nigga. This is that. I would see him pop up on my Instagram all the time. Okay, when I tell you I would see him pop up all the time, I would watch his little videos. And especially during quarantine, when we were all on social media making videos, because all we was doing was sitting in the house. Bro. Yeah. So I saw him. I ain't see him looking at me, because I was like, he don't know who the fuck I am. I'm just... I'm just this random girl that I DM'd him asking him if it was any space on the sign-up list. Like, I'm not thinking nothing of it. Okay? And then we're going to go from my house. And then you get rebuttal. So then, me and Genevieve decide that we're going to be girlfriends for the night. Right? So we take our drinks. We go sit at a table behind the, um, like, I don't want to call it a partition, but it's like a half wall half wall from where the stage was and so we're back here um and the rest of the people who are attending the event are in that other half and so it's really hard to hear back here but we like okay we ain't we ain't gonna move while they still singing we don't want to make too much noise we don't want to bring too much attention to ourselves but we couldn't hear good at all and you would think with the acoustics and how big and small the room was at the same time that you would be able to like hear when you were literally like you couldn't hear until you turned that corner. Like, it's like you were in a completely different event. So whoever soundproofed that building did a great job. But nonetheless, we couldn't hear. We was talking and I'm peeking at him. He's sitting in this booth on the other side in the corner with his little friend. And so eventually we like, okay, we gonna, we gonna move. They had took a break from singing. They was gonna come in. We sat at this table that was like 
to my left of the stage, but it would have been to the performer's right of the stage. It was like right here in the corner. And so I also got a sex on the beach, guys. I got me a liquid marijuana and a sex on the beach. And let me tell you, the sex on the beach that I got, I did not pay for. This older gentleman brought it to me and I'm very sure that he was there with his wife. I'm very sure he was. He brought it to me and it was not a good sex on the beach, y'all, but I drank it and I drank it slow. And then I, it, I drank it so slow that he kept trying to replace it before it was empty, guys. But nonetheless, we get to this table. We jam into the music. Mood Swings is covering some Lauren Hill songs. And like, this nigga is still sitting in the back booth. Like, he vibing with his little friend and whatnot. And, and then like, this nigga just comes and invades my space. things that happened before that. Okay, what happened before that? <laughs> anyway, back where I left off. Uh, yeah, so, uh, I'm sitting in the back with, a, uh, with another fellow, uh, fellow poet, uh, you know, Hassan Bird, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, we in the back, you know, chopping it up, all that good stuff. You know, the show gets started. I see, I see her. My great. What am I, a bird? Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, you're not a bird. No, you're not a bird. That's an insult. No. <laughs> no birds, you're not a bird. <laughs> I see her migrate to the new location. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm like, I'm like, all right. I'm like, all right. And then we get into some of, you know, some of the performances and whatnot, right? Right? So, so you know, at, at, at this point, you know, this is when this is when you know I I, I get to perform and so uh, as I perform, uh, you know I do I do one of my favorites. I do I do I do one of my favorites. It's a, it's a, it's a R and B medley. You know what I'm saying? And this line where I ask, you know, you want to let your eggs fertilized or scrambled? Uh, he looked me dead in my soul when he said that. He looked me dead in my soul. But you skipped some pieces. Because all of that, you moved to buy me before all of that happened at Corman. No, you were sitting in the back. No, you performed after you moved. Yeah? Yes. Because why would you lock eyes with a stranger like that? Because you weren't a stranger. Yes, I was. A Bro, do not let this nigga confuse y'all. I was a stranger. Why would you ask a stranger? Out of all the women in the room, you asked me if I wanted my eggs fertilized or scrambled without having any little twinkle of eye. The eye, whatever you be talking about, it's the eyes. It's the eyes. So how did you do the poem if you didn't see the eyes before the poem? So my part came at the right time and you did migrate and you did your poem and you asked me if I wanted my eggs fertilized or scrambled and the crowd went crazy and I was like yo that line is crazy later to find out that it's in a movie my uncultured ass but continue so yeah I did the poem and uh and uh as I did the poem <laughs> that's when we hit the little intermission okay we hit the intermission and during the intermission that is when Miss Genevieve through the alley oop of alley oops, because you know what I'm saying. I seen them. They seen me. We this seen wasn't each the intermission. Other. It, it was during the intermission. No, it wasn't. It was because niggas was getting food and whatnot. It was. It was. Oh, right facts, facts, we, facts, yeah, facts, 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 facts. It, was, it, it, it was, was on right. that little line, that little curve. It yep. was on the curve of the room. Yeah, you're right. And 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 that's when Miss Genevieve was like. Boom. Yeah. You do poetry. She do poetry. She fine. You cute. You know what I'm saying? Some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all both black. Do the things. And I was like, yo, you are a black king. I don't know exactly who you Bro, are. Bro, and I was like, you know who I am? Like, that was at the time where, like, I wasn't doing nothing serious on Instagram. I wasn't doing nothing. Like, I was trying to have me a little brand, but, like, I was also a teacher at the time with a job I hated in the city that I despised and like I was not popping on the Instagram 
I really didn't get into my bag until like that next year. So like for somebody to like recognize me off the internet and like barely have ever engaged with me, I was shook. Okay, I was shook for real. I was shook. I was like, you know who I am? Yeah, I knew exactly. I knew exactly who she was. I knew exactly who she was. So, you know what I'm saying? We chopped it up for a little bit. She was like, oh, I'm so nervous. I haven't done. I haven't oh, my crazy. God. I in so long. In two years. Yeah, I was like, I don't know. I don't know. I was like, are you going to kill it? And guess what she did, y'all? She killed that shit. It wasn't that great. It was, I'm gonna tag the performance right here. It wasn't that great. It was pretty damn good. It was mm. pretty damn good. And then after that, that is when I definitely, uh, you know, officially uh, 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 migrated over to the table. You know, Hassan was like, yo, what you doing over here? Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. He was like, cock blocking. You, you need to go. He was cock blocking, guys. He trying to sugarcoat and jump over that. We are an honest couple. We're gonna tell each other the truth and we're gonna tell y'all the truth. He was cock blocking. He wasn't even trying to get a Genevieve. He was just standing there like a fly on the wall. Like it was really like one of those, if I could be a fly on the wall, like he said, I'm gonna make myself the fly on the wall. He would not leave. He would not leave. That nigga was on his ass. Like Nick went doo doo. He went doo doo. He went doo doo. He went doo doo. Doo doo. Doo doo. I'm like, damn. Like, damn. Can his nuts get some air? And I'm like, I'm just gonna let his little friend tag along because maybe that's his homeboy, but he just would not give it up. I'm like, you don't got no coochie to chase in this room? Y'all, my nuts had plenty of air. My God. He did not. He did not. <laughs> you are lying to the fans. What are you talking about? They had plenty of air. It won't let it was encouraged. He was like, you know what I'm saying? Go for it, you know what I'm saying? Go for it. He was like, get on there. I was like, I don't know, bro. I'm trying to be weird. I don't know what to say. So I just kind of floated on over there. And, um, just kind of okay, so why did he have to float with you? I don't remember him floating with me. He, he was over there with you? What are you talking about? I I don't remember. After I, I, I went to your table and just kind of stood there. And just like hopped in your videos Bro. and such. Um, Anyways. Either way, the point is, I went over there. And I started getting all up in her videos and whatnot. And then she was like, Can you take some pictures of me? And I was like, <laughs> I was like, she damn right, I'll take some pictures of you, girl. <laughs> And he did. He took yeah, some good pictures. And y'all, I was just getting over like being super duper sick, like dead to the world type of sick, which is really like why I was like, at home on the couch watching TV in my sweatpants because like I had been sick like all month. It wasn't COVID. I was back and forth to the doctor. I ended up having to take a medicine that made my face, my complete face swell up, like eyes swollen shut. And like, basically my doctor was like, keep taking it. I was like, yo, I can't keep taking this. My eyes are like swollen shut. Mm -hmm. And so like my face was still poofy. Like it looked like I had just had my wisdom teeth out. And I was just like, okay, we're going to take these pictures because, like, this is my first time going out. And I don't really know nobody, but I always want my pictures taken. And that's, like, the hardest thing about, like, me going out. And this is, this is a good thing that I have tri multiple tripods now, multiple little phone stands. So I don't ever have to listen. I don't ever have to ask nobody to take my picture because the sadness I feel when the pictures don't come out the way that I want them to is just unmatched. But nonetheless, Nick took beautiful pictures of me. I'm going to put some on the screen. He took some pictures of me and he was getting the angles. You know what I'm saying? Now, he didn't really know my angles at that point. He just knew he wanted to be in one, okay? He just knew he wanted to be in an angle with me. And so, I'm asking him to take the pictures, taking the pictures. Right. The girls was out, y'all. The girls was out in this like button down crop top. Not like this one, it was more of like a rib tan material. But the girls was out, they was pushed up. I had on some heels, I had on some jeans. Like the girls was glistening. I had made sure I put on that good body butter. Like I was out there, I said, okay, if we gonna do it, we gonna do it, right, okay? I didn't know I was leaving the house to find a man, but I did. You know what I'm saying? I did. So we took the pictures and then like the show ended, guys. The show ended. 
And so I had drove my car and, you know, Genevieve, like I said, was visiting. So she had asked me if I could drop her off to her apart to her hotel so she wouldn't have to, like, wait on the Uber by herself or just, like, pay for the Uber. And it was, like, six minutes down the road, you know, unsafe. Don't be like me. But I feel like she had a good vibe. I didn't think that she was going to kill me. So, like... I was like, okay, cool. I'm going to run to the bathroom because remember, I had that liquid marijuana and it was at least like this big and they filled it to the top. And so then I also had that big ass, same size, nasty ass sex on the beach that the man kept trying to replace. So I'm like, okay, I got to go to the bathroom. So him and Genevieve was talking while I was in the bathroom. Nah, we weren't talking because I think Genevieve had, 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 she had either went with you or she had or, or she had went to the bathroom for or she went I don't know Get she went on the upper curve yeah well I had went to the bathroom and I thought that like once I got out of the bathroom everybody was just gonna disperse again I didn't know like the poetry like scene I didn't know if people lingered I, and that was also like my I was just 21 like that was my first time like going out for real like the first time I had ever been in a bar was my 21st birthday which was only a couple months prior and I hadn't gone to any bar or anything like that since so this was like the first time that I went somewhere like by myself in this new city with nobody I knew like I'm out here handing out IDs like I'm a grown woman like here can I get a look at marijuana like do you know how to make it I can look up the ingredients it's for you like the fuck i i didn't know what people did like i was very much i wasn't that kid like i didn't go out i didn't kick it in high school like i was very much like to myself my mama had real rules okay um so like i'm not thinking people are still lingering so i leave guys i leave no he airdrop he doesn't airdrop me the pictures because he's smooth with it he likes to think that he's not smooth with it he texts me the pictures when we both have Apple devices. He texts me the pictures. What? I mean, yes. Like, I mean, action. Well, did I text you the pictures? Yes, you text me the pictures. If I scroll up to our to our messages right now, well, probably not because I got to I had to restart my phone. But like, I thought that I sent them via DM. No, you sent them via message. Because remember, I made some live. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. So I end up leaving, guys. I end up leaving and taking Genevieve home. I was sitting there way. Like, I had no clue, like, he wanted to talk more. I thought everybody was, like, packing up and going. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't know we could linger and hang out. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. So, I went home. Like, I don't know. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. I was like, dang. I didn't know. But I was thinking about him when I got home. And I was like, man. I was like, dang. I was supposed to be going there to do poetry. Yeah, she did. Like, I, I wasn't going to look at no boys. And she did. So, like, yeah, I was I was uh, waiting for him to text me. Yeah, so I sent a DM at, like, I was waiting. 3 o'clock in the morning. I was like, dang. It took me a while. It took me, like, it took me a couple of hours to mm -hmm. craft a simple ass message. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to sound too pushy. <laughs> but I also didn't want to sound uninterested. <laughs> Like that fine line of like, yo, I want to express interest, I'm weak. but I don't want to seem thirsty. I'm thirsty, but I don't want to come off as thirsty. Yes. Look. It took me a while. I need to just save this as a screenshot because I think about it all the freaking time. Like I be wanting to read. When did we uh? When did we have that performance in favor? When was the high school slam? November what? 19th? Uh, I thought that was in October. No, remember it got rescheduled? Oh, fuck. <laughs> but like, I always want to, I always want to see, like, share people the exact DM because I scrolled. Um, I scrolled for, uh, oh, here we go. I do got I have them. Oh my God. Okay. He said, 
Definitely wanted to say something before everyone slid out laughing emoji, but I hope you made it back to the crib safely and it was great getting to meet you and chop it up in person. Once again, you were dope as hell and it ain't even seemed like you hadn't performed in two years. Praise emojis. And I know you're still getting acclimated with the Raleigh slash the triangle. So if it works with your schedule, I'd love to show you some spots and events if that's something you'd be interested in. But I definitely hope to see you perform again in person. He sent that to me, guys. He sent that to me. And and uh, I didn't really read it until like the next day. Because it was, it was booty call hours. I went home and went to sleep. That took a lot of energy to exert. I ain't got that much social media. I ain't got that much, but that's what he said to me. That's what he said to me. And then, guys, and you can take this part of the story since you love to tell it. Um, and then he invited me. So I had an event to go to later on that day for my friend. She was performing in um, Raleigh, which was um, down the street from my house. But he invited me to this event called Inkspire, which is like this big poetry event down here. That's and um, mm -hmm. he invited me, he was like, you know, this is going on. Listen, he was making sure I had a ticket because the event was that day and it was something like, he had to purchase tickets in in advance. Like he was making sure, you know, I was just like, yeah, I'll go. Cause I'm still high off, I'm high off the night before. I'm like, oh, I'm going anywhere you're going, sir. Absolutely, I, I yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go. So after I left my homegirl event, I went home. Like, it's dark, it's wet. I'm like, okay, I have no clue what I'm gonna do. I have no clue what I'm gonna do with my hair. I don't know what the fuck is gonna go, okay? I don't know what the fuck is gonna go. Now you can tell it, go ahead. We're at Inspired. Well, uh, before Inspired. What happened before Inspired? I Inspired was the next night. It was. I also had to go to work in Raleigh. Oh, facts. The next morning. Facts. I left Raleigh at like 2, got home at like 3, had to be back up and back in Raleigh at like 10 o'clock in the morning. So, I packed all my clothes. I got changed for Inspired in the car. And I was telling my homeboy Chris about her. I'm weak. I'll tell the I'll tell the rest of that conversation in another video. Um, but, uh, but but uh but yeah, you know what I'm saying? I changed into my all black and Man, black. he was looking and good. Black. Okay, he was looking like money. Like mm, black on black, like all black, black top, black shirt, black suit. And that suit, that suit fit good. That's like his best fit in suit, okay? That shit, mm. That shit cold. Man, my bad. He was looking good, okay? Good. good. For yeah. sure. But uh yeah, so you know what I'm saying? Get the inspired, you know what I'm saying? Got got all my doom 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 doom. You know, I'm I'm, I'm sitting there, you know, I'm, I'm waiting on her to get there. I'm, I'm I'm talking to people and then like and like I see her coming up the escalator. Y'all, this is where his story is so dramatic. An angel coming up an escalator. <laughs> and then I see her around the corner. She's got on this all black dress and these sparkly, glittery boots. <laughs> and that dress was just hugging her curves. I was like, mm, mm, mm. To be a NASCAR driver, I want to hit them curves. Yes, I'm I do. so weak. And we didn't even plan to coordinate outfits. She sure just didn't. so happened to wear all. She just so happened to wear the black when I was wearing I'm the so black. I'm so sad we didn't get no pictures together like, that oh, night. Oh my sure. god. Yeah, it was like yeah, and I got to take her pictures and whatnot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was good. That was a good night. But yeah. That was a good night. Yeah. That's how we met, and we would just been together, like hanging out. All the time, like we hung out throughout the rest of the year sparingly, not a lot at all. Maybe like one more time, um, two two more times, yeah, like two more times. But like at, into the new year, oh, we was on go, we was everywhere, and like yeah, we just been together ever since. Straight like that. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that's how we met. Mm -hmm. Shit. <laughs> it's such a fun story to tell. I actually wrote an article about it. I'm putting it in the description. Yeah. But it's such a fun story to tell because, like, not only did we meet on social media, and, you know, you get tired of hearing them like, oh, we met on a dating app. Oh, we met on Instagram. And I'm like, uh, we met on Instagram too. But However. there's some substance. 
to this story. So like, yeah, we always like telling that story and like, it's just like too long and it's, it's too good to cut out chunks to fit into like micro conversations. So like some, like for the most part, and when people ask, we just be like, yeah, we met at a poetry event. Exactly. Yeah. So that's all we met, guys. Let us know what other videos. This is cool. Let us know what other videos y'all want us to make. Thank you, Nick, for stopping by to my channel. Thank you. Um, thank y'all so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn the notification bells on so you can get notified every time that I post. And we will catch y'all in the next one. Bye.